Destiny says she looks like this. But she says she gained some weight, so I'm really not sure what to expect. Destiny does not look like her picture, but I've been studying this picture for so long that I can see the facial expressions to where it kind of tells me it, it's her. Studying this picture for so long. I can definitely tell by the way Destiny kissed me that she's into me. Oh, here we go again. Sean, it doesn't really matter how many times you study or stroke her picture. Studying this picture super Because we all know how this is going to end. On this channel, we've talked about David, we've talked about Scott, and now it is time to complete the trifecta of simpage with Sean. I flew all the way to California because in a couple hours, Destiny would be released from the Glen County Jail. Destiny's having me bring her shoes, clothes, makeup, just everything that she needs. I have not spoiled all my girlfriends like this. I just think Destiny deserves it, you know, especially when it's somebody you love. So he's never met this person before, and yet he's spoiling her more than the woman that he had six children with and was together for, I don't, like, over 10 years, probably. That girl, Destiny, I was telling you I was talking to? A little bit. She's gonna be coming up by me. Coming out here where? Like, does she have family? Who is she staying with? She's gonna stay with me. She's gonna move in with me. Unbelievable. Hey, 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 don't be so quick to judge. They are in love. Want to know how I know they're in love? Because he gave her $60,000 and then studied a picture of her for six months to make sure that she wasn't catfishing him. That's a totally normal thing people do when they're in love. Have you been spending money on her? A little bit, yeah. Ballpark, what are we talking? A few thousand. A few thousand? Instead of stuff that could be spent on your kids, you spend a few thousand dollars on her? Come on, lady, give me a break. What do you think is more important? A bunch of dumb little kids or Sean's dick? I like how he's just fiddling with a pocketbook this whole time. Don't you prejudge. Don't prejudge anything. I don't even think she is prejudging. She's pretty much just judging the situation as it was presented. So you put her down and it's not fair because you don't even okay. know her. Yeah, Sean, you wave that pocketbook at her. I love her. And hopefully if everything goes well, then, you know, we get married and... Since when was it... That serious. I thought it was just kind of a talking thing. It wasn't thing. plan on. It wasn't that serious at the time. It just kind of got serious. What he means by that is she said, hey, we're getting married. And then he said, all right, I, I guess we're getting married now. We were together for most of the last 22 years, but we never got married. Yeah, shit. You got me there. Well, maybe if you had been 15 years younger and in prison at the time, we could have gotten married. It's not that you didn't matter. It's just people... Not enough to feel. marry. I wasn't good enough to marry, but I was good enough to have your kids. That's what you're telling me? It's not that you didn't matter. It's not that you didn't matter. I just really want to bang this 29-year-old from prison, and I'm willing to get married to do that. Bill Bondsman told me it's a $50,000 bond, so I had to pay $5,000 out of pocket. The insurance policy in this case is for $50,000 because she failed to appear in court. She was on an ankle monitor and she cut the monitor off. She's a flight risk. So what you're saying is I should pay her bail and have her move into my house, right? That, that seems like a good idea. I just think that people doubt me and Destiny because they just don't see what I see in her, they don't talk to her, they don't understand. And right away it's all, she's catfishing you or she's gonna do this, she's gonna rob you. But I feel that everything she's been telling me is true, so. I'll prove them all wrong. All right, so what's nuts is Sean has actually been lying to Destiny about his age and how many kids he has. But he both expects and believes that she's been truthful about everything. Apparently, he told her that he's 35 when he's really 45. But, but yeah, I'm sure she's telling you the truth about everything. So after Destiny gets out of prison and they meet for the first time, they go to lunch with her sister and mother. There are a few things that I haven't told Destiny. I'm very pissed at myself for letting it go this far and get out of control when I could have just told her because she's probably going to understand. I don't know. I'm going to guess that at this point, She's probably figured out you're not 35. She's here! Oh my Hi. god! Brittany, this is Sean. Nice Hello. to meet you. Hi, Sean, this is my mom. Hello. Hello. Yeah. How is it with you guys? Are you guys enjoying it? Is it kind of just like you guys talk so much, just kind of natural? It was kind of natural. It was natural. Yeah. I was surprised. Like, yeah, I, was I was nervous. Too. I don't think it's hit me really yet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's hit Sean either. Now, in my opinion, it's pretty obvious that Sean is an introverted and shy kind of person, and Destiny is the total opposite. This makes for some astoundingly awkward situations when they both start to reveal their true colors to each other. So now that you, now that you finally met her, what do you think? So, a lot of us were like, she's gonna be catfishing the out of this dude. Like, Why? What? Why? How could anyone possibly think that? What? Studying this picture. Taking advantage of him. You thought I was going to? Do you know he told me he was only 36? So, Sean was basically catfishing her. I was thinking he was catfishing him. He was catfishing you 10 years worth. But this is the thing is, if he wasn't gonna do it for me, know that there's a mother. 
I will. Yeah. Like, I make sure that I'm good no matter what. Wow, that must feel really good to hear, Sean. Right in front of you, she's essentially saying that you're just some disposable person, and if this doesn't go well, she'll find someone else to do the same thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys are in love, though. I'm sure, I'm sure the love is strong. Like, I'm just the type of bitch, like, nothing stops me from doing what I want to do. Like, nothing. Nothing. And I don't care who has a problem with it. Now, I think it's starting to hit Sean. Reality is sinking in just a little bit. I'm shy and quiet and like to stay to myself where Destiny is outgoing and likes to party. There's, there is some pretty girls in prison. Destiny is scaring me. Wow, it's almost like you didn't know this person very well and that you tried to build an entire relationship with someone just because they were younger and you're physically attracted to them. But no, that couldn't possibly be... I'm prejudging here. Don't prejudge anything. I'm just prejudging. Let's see what happens. Hey, how many girlfriends do you have? None. I don't... I don't Come on, have... girl. Come on, girl. Dude, I don't have girlfriends. John does not know this, but... The last time I had sex with a woman was in prison a couple weeks ago. Everything she's been telling me is true. You're killing me, Sean. So yesterday was a pretty big day for you. And I think when it topped on with the, when you started drinking, though, it kind of made it a little bit worse, you know, oh, with yeah, your... You think that? Sean, you are entering a world of pain if you start this conversation. You know, maybe some things got overreacted yesterday with, you know. The only concerns I have about your drinking is you going out doing something stupid, and especially before your court date. Oh, man. I feel like for the next 17 days, I'll have to be a lot more controlling on what her actions and stuff are before the court date. I'm sure that'll work out very well. Nothing stops me from doing what I want to do. Hey, 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 Destiny, could you please not drink so much? I have $50,000 on the line, Destiny. You know, if she missed court, that'd be almost $100,000 I spent on Destiny. That's a lot of money. $100,000. Wow. I thought I was exaggerating in the beginning when I said $60,000, and then they said the bail was $50,000, so I was like, okay, that's, that's close enough. And then now $100,000. And of course, he tells his ex-girlfriend who takes care of six of their children apparently that he only gave her a few thousand and I mean it was just bail so technically he didn't give her that money but it's still money spent on her I mean at least David from 90 Day Fiance made the smart decision not to have kids so that he could run around and do all this nonsense but Sean you have six children not fully grown adults but children what you, being you in control got, like you no, can't no, control I'm not, me I'm not trying to control you for the next 17 days I'll have to be a lot more controlling we're gonna go have fun like we're gonna be in Vegas like this we're not gonna be squares Ooh, Sean, you just got called a square, you fucking nerd. Well, that's fine. While all the cool kids are out partying, you can stay home and study a picture. A picture. I have only been out not even 24 hours, and Sean is already trying to tell me what to do or try to tell me I can't drink. Like, I already had told him, like, I'm a party girl. This is what I want to do. Like, I want to have fun. I want to drink. It's legal. You know, I'm really trying not to prejudge, but damn it, Sean, this is not going well. It's a perfect day today. You're going to be gone. I'm just going to... Hang out. Her description of a perfect day is when she can just hang out in Sean's house when he's gone. I mean, um, and I was thinking maybe you could blow up the <laughs> unicorn for me. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on. All right. Please. So she's happy because she can just chill in the pool all day, and Sean is happy because she's happy, but then Sean's ex-girlfriend calls and all hell breaks loose. Hello? Hey. Hey. Um, airing up this, uh, inflatable raft in the pool. It's going good. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. I'm actually really surprised. Oh, don't worry. In about 15 seconds, it'll be going horribly. I am really surprised that it's actually going okay. There it is. Who is that? Kelly. Why is she calling you? What? Why is she calling? Because me and Kelly have to have a relationship. Give me a plane ticket home now. Like I'm for real. Give me a out of here now. I gotta go. Man, well, it was going really well, but then she found out I was on the phone with you, so now I have to purchase her a plane ticket so she can leave me. That right there is how razor thin the foundation of their relationship is. It, it can be shifted that drastically that quickly. I already talked about him talking to Kelly like that. Like, it's unacceptable, and for him to be continuously doing it after he said he wasn't, like, I'm Done, dude. Yeah, Sean, what, what are you doing? You think it's just acceptable to have any sort of relationship with the mother of your children? They're a bunch of squares. Cut them off. Him lying about his age, him lying about his kids, him lying about now talking to Kelly all the time. Like, his word don't mean to me. He was right about to go to work, so now he has to leave on this note. Not like I'm leaving. Like, I'm done. 
So unfortunately, I can't find the rest of this argument, but it continues out in the road, and she actually ends up punching Sean in the head, so she physically assaults him. So then he goes to work, and you'd imagine that he would be thinking of a way to get out of this situation, right? He would realize how extreme it has gotten. I mean, she just punched him in the head. But no, his love for her only grows, and he agrees to stop talking to his ex-girlfriend for good. He, Destiny, and his ex-girlfriend have an absolutely disastrous meeting. Check this out. <laughs> Poor Sean is desperately trying to mediate the conversation, but they're both just ignoring him. He's way in over his head at this point. Destiny threatens to beat the F out of his ex, and he doesn't really say anything. Kind of a messed up thing to say, right? Uh, All right. Do something about Kelly. it. Okay. No, 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 stop. We're gonna stop. One at a time, you guys talk. Get it out. Oh, then tell her to quit being disrespectful. No. I'm not gonna tell her that. What are you, insane? I'm trying to get laid here. We have a relationship, and either she can respect it or not. That's your so, problem, No, not that's mine. actually, it's gonna be your problem. Okay. No, it's not. Dude, you know what? That's what I thought. Okay, hey, stop. Hey, whoa, whoa, that's uncalled for. You can't say that. You can't say, that's what I thought. All right, now, Destiny, what were you saying about beating the F out of her? They don't like one another, so but it's really important to me that they get along just for my kids' sake. Sean, if you want to help out your kids, just get out of this situation completely. <laughs> Seriously. That's what's best for your kids' sake, not getting to know this person. That's not get, Clearly, that's not going to help. She's not interested in your kids. She's not interested in you. She's interested in your money. That's it. It's just going to have to stop, you know, as far as, you know, talking all the time, every day on the phone. And yeah, you never had a problem with that before with your other girlfriends, now did you? I was wrong. I, I, was no, just, I didn't see not. how it was disrespectful to them. Dude, she punched you in the head, and now you're worried about what's disrespectful to her? And it's not. It's not disrespectful, by the way, to talk to the, the mother of your children. Quite an unreasonable thing to ask of someone, but since Sean is Sean and not someone else, he just goes right along with it. So, tell her what the f you have to tell her and let's leave. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to not talk to you and just kind of well, go then. from there. As far as that goes and stuff, then you won't be talking to your kids because I'm flat out not uh, having I'm, her around my kids, and that's choosing her over your own kids. Like I said, we're just gonna... I'm with her. Like I said, I'd rather get married to this really disrespectful person who treats me like shit and uses me for my money than to have a relationship with my kids. That's... That's final, okay? It's a decision that she made for me, but a decision nonetheless. So out of the trifecta of simpage, I definitely have the least amount of respect for Sean. This is horrendous. Well, and keep in mind that your choice chooses you to be out of your kid's life. I think Kelly is just being a little bit jealous just because I finally found love and I finally found happiness and I just think it really bothers her. Oh my God, Sean. Oh, really? Really? That's that's what you think this is all about? Really, Sean? Uh, uh, jealous that you found love. This is not love. This is probably as far from love as I can think of. She just wants you to be there for your kids, man. That's it. That's all. She doesn't care about your stupid relationship. So unsurprisingly, she ends up getting mad again at Sean for talking to his ex-girlfriend, and this time tosses away his engagement ring and just walks out completely. I'm sorry that you up. How about that? Two, it wasn't even I a don't minute. Give a You're phone. such a liar, dude. I I don't care. She don't need to ask about me. How about that? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. It's none of her business. I understand that. Okay, then get out of my face. There's your relationship. You can have it. He said he talked to her for less than a minute, and this is the reaction. Nothing just got back to California, and I've been... Oh, my God. He just keeps texting me. Sean just won't stop texting. Look at this beautiful image right here. This is how you get through to someone right here. Just obsessively and repeatedly send them messages when it's obvious that they're ignoring you. You know, I was mad at him, but then he sent me 30 creepy text messages, so I came running back. If I really literally ever need anything, like, he would always do whatever I wanted. Like, I got, I get my nails done, my toes done all the time, like, I get jewelry. Like, I can call him right now and ask him for money, you know, and he would send me money, like... She's like, wow, that's a pretty sweet deal you got going on. How do I how do I get something like that? So even though she thinks they're broken up, Sean does not. And he knows she has a court appearance today, so he shows up unexpectedly. I'm extremely nervous because I'm not sure how Destiny's going to react when she sees me. I guess I know her better than you do because I can pretty much guarantee that she's going to threaten to hit you in the head. Oh my god, you're here. Oh my god. I mean, I honestly felt like this is the only way that You're going to honestly to feel me punch you in the mouth for There it is. Again. There it is. I told you. Away from me. Just stop. No, you. 
I don't think it's normal to react to your fiance like this. No, it's not normal, but this is clearly not your fiance. She's telling you to get the F away and threatening to hit you. So this could be the last time that I see Destiny in a free world. Like I'm hoping that she doesn't go to jail, that she'll come back to Vegas and everything will be back to normal. Luckily for Sean, that's exactly what happened. She apologized and now they live happily ever after in magical fairy tale imagination land. It's like the whole time that that you've been gone, I've been like researching you. Like, I mean, you had like two other engagements. Dude, you really got to stop using the words study and research when you're talking about your relationship. You lied to me about your age. That's scamming me. It's not scamming You lied to me about your kids. That's scamming me. Let's be real. Yeah, that's scamming. Now give me some more money. Boy, 40 bucks. 40 bucks. What is it going to get me? Hey, it's something. What a lovely, pleasant human being. I was talking to like 20 people, okay? Didn't matter. All you guys were tricks, okay? Don't prejudge anything. Everything she's been telling me is true, so I'll prove them all wrong. Wow, you really proved me wrong, Sean. I should not have prejudged. I would have been way off in my prejudgment. Nothing went exactly how I expected. Now she's just telling you straight up to your face that she was using you and talking to other people at the same time, so, uh... Yeah. So not only did he lose $100,000 to this person, but he also gave her a car that she still has. Now he has to go find a way to get it back. I'm just taking the car back. Why? That's my car. What are you doing? No. Okay. Destiny says she looks like this. Hey, show me the paperwork. Okay, get the out of here. So after all this was over, Destiny ended up getting married to someone else. So that's how it all ended. I hope you've enjoyed this incredible story. What does everyone think? Is David still the king or has Sean stolen his crown? All right, so that's the end of the video. Thanks to everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. Before I go, I just want to say that Patreon is now up for anyone who's interested in that. The link will be in the description as well as the comments. It is, of course, totally optional and greatly appreciated. It'll be an incredible help to continue making videos for you guys, and there will also be some exclusive content over on Patreon that you cannot see here on YouTube. A lot of people have asked what happened to my Big Ed video from last year, and unfortunately what happened is the copyright owner changed from TLC to, I think, Discovery is, is who runs the... Big Ed stuff now, so their algorithm that picks up copyrighted content must have changed, and now it's banned in the United States, so that's a lot of fun. But if you go over to Patreon, that will be the first thing that I will post. And if in the future that happens with any other videos, then that video will also go over to Patreon. More of the details will of course be explained over there if you had any questions, and that's all I had to say. So thanks again everyone for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.